Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's your brother Yahya Ibrahim with another Ramadan therapy. Allahumma barik, alhamdulillah, today this is dua number 10. We're studying the dua of the Prophet sallallahu that brings relief, healing, therapy, and love. And subhanAllah, it's tough at times to think back to some of the inconsistencies in our life, some of the mistakes that we've made, in particular in dealing with other people. Some of them, we've made those mistakes unknowing their consequence or the severity of the insult we provided others. Sometimes, you know, you've made that joke or comment or gave that look or glance or that sarcasm to someone that upset them. And perhaps they didn't raise it with you because they have love for you and care for you and respect for you. Perhaps you've never seen them again. But that doesn't change the fact that there is something that is owed to them. And this was something that our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was very careful and cautious with. There's a chapter in Sahih al-Bukhari, in the, in the book, in the overall theme of a da'wat, the invocations of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Imam al-Bukhari has labeled this chapter, Bab Qawl al Nabiya Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is the chapter of the Prophet's statement that if I should harm somebody, let that be a means of purification and mercy for them. The Prophet ﷺ was the least likely of all of humanity to bring adha, harm, uh, difficulty, and, and rancor upon others. And yet you see the Prophet ﷺ was very much worried, concerned about this as something um, uh, in his uh, spiritual connection to Allah Azza wa Jal and what he would owe others in the right that is deserved of them between them, him, and Allah. So let us study this hadith. How do I cure myself? How do I heal myself from an insult I've provided to another, from something that I've done to someone that perhaps I'm unaware of its gravity and its severity? And it's not just uh, sufficient to say, Astaghfirullah, 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 or I'll never do this again. There's a dua that was taught to us by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu says, I heard the Prophet Sallallahu so he was witness to this. He said, أَنَّهُ سَمِعَ النَّبِيَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ يَقُولُ He would hear the Prophet ﷺ make this invocation. Allahumma. So the first word is, O oh my Lord, only you can. فَأَيُّمَا مُؤْمِنٍ سَبَبْتُهُ O oh Allah, any believer that I have insulted, any believer that I may have made sab, abuse or wronged, anyone that has been made to feel small by me, فَأَيُّمَا مُؤْمِنٍ سَبَبْتُهُ any believer that I have wronged or have cursed or have said something that has insulted them or hurt their feelings. فَاجْعَلْ ذَلِكَ لَهُ قُرْبَةً إِلَيْكَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Oh Allah, make the means of my abuse to them or my wronging them the reason that they are close to you on the Day of Judgment. Means of them being brought near to you, O oh Allah, on the Day of Judgment. What a beautiful hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. What a compassionate, amazing human being our Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala ali wa sahbihi wa sallam. Once again the dua. Allahumma fa'ayyuma mu'minin. O oh Allah, whichever believer, sababtuhu, that I have cursed, that I have wronged, faj'al thalika lahu qurbatan ilayka yawm al-qiyamah. O oh Allah, make that cause of my ridicule of them or abuse of them or wronging them or speaking ill of them in their presence or outside their presence. Oh Allah, make that something that draws them near to you on the Day of Judgment. Make that be something that is a reward for them on the Day of Judgment that your nearness is provided to them. And this is a dua that if you are unacquainted with it in the Arabic and if you haven't been able to memorize that line, I will share it as I normally do in the description of this video on my YouTube page and um, uh, on my Facebook page, insha'Allah. Allahumma fa'ayyuma mu'minin sababtuhu faj'al thalika lahu qurbatan ilayka yawm al-qiyamah. Allahumma ameen. May Allah accept that from me as was accepted from our Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala heal our hearts and make this Ramadan a Ramadan of therapy that we can overcome that impulse of wronging others, of our sarcasm, of our put-downs, of our bullying, and our unfair treatment uh, of others knowingly and unknowingly. Allahumma ameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant the greatest uh, blessings and uh, of peace and mercy upon our Nabi Muhammad 
sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. This was your brother Yahya Ibrahim with episode 10 of Ramadan Therapy. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.